Hey, Colette, how you doing? Thank you so much for submitting your work. Hey, I just want to mention, I was reading some of your feedback here. Really good job. You're providing some really, really good comments. Um, so I was really, really glad to see that, definitely. Uh, observations and then offering tips for improvement. That's, that's what it's all about. So definitely, good job. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to your written rationale. Uh, stay true to your sketch and create it as much as possible. I chose inspiring abstract design. And this all makes sense, right? And this is telling me that you're, there, there is thought behind your design. And that's really all I can ask for in this assignment, and actually in this class, is that there has to be some conceptual thought behind your design. So from the, I mean, one of the things I think that you guys really want to take away from this class is that design is not based on arbitrary decisions. Design is very much based on conceptual development and, and the successful implementation and uh, execution in the viewing of um, design elements that create meaning. Okay, so so that is that's what I have to take away from this particular assignment is, is that from this point in your design career on, don't forget that one mark goes on a page ever without a good solid reason for it. And that reason needs to make sense as you describe it to your uh, creative director, your art director, or ultimately your client. So a uh, client says, well, why did you decide to use yellow here? Or why did you decide to use blue here? And the answer they're not looking for is, well, because I really like blue, because you need a solid reason. Okay, so I, I, was, I was glad to see that you're giving these reasons in your written rationale. That's fantastic. Let's jump right over to the work. Okay, good idea. I think this is a good, good idea, representing the light bulb, representing the idea, right? So that's fantastic. As far as execution goes, I'm not real sure if this is the right typeface. This it looks almost like it's a comic sans. It's very, very casual. So much so that I would be afraid that that your client might not be taken as seriously as they should with this type of super casual typeface. My recommendation would be a sans serif typeface, a geometric sans or a modern sans serif typeface. Um, Gil Sans, Helvetica, Futura, something like that. Um, the, the M has a black stroke and the rest of the letters don't. And I don't, I, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend uh, keeping those uniform so that by, just by group, they look like they're related. One has different visual attributes than the other half, meaning that there's some visual separation there. We don't want our client, we don't want our viewer to think that these are two separation, that there's some separation here that, Okay, now the Minotaur, the eye, the light bulb for the eye, again, great idea, execution, not sure if it's your, 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 your most efficient um, solution. And I say that because, I mean, this could be, I, when I looked at it at first, I just glanced at it really quick, and I just thought, for some reason, this looked like an eye. It almost looked like my Notar. Do you see what I'm saying? So the other option is to take this light bulb and reduce the size and replace the O, right? Um, is that going to work? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not real sure the light bulb is your way to go. I think it's a great idea to express the idea, you know, idea with the light bulb. But maybe think of something like this. Instead of the light bulb itself, maybe just construct this with a sans serif typeface, right? Capital M, lowercase I-N-O-T-A-U-R. And then where the I is, imagine that's the I right there, right? So the, the I has a dot over it, right? So instead of the dot, let's remove the dot and just put three or four lines indicating illumination, indicating light, indicating idea. Okay, so you have the I, you have a line here, line here, line here. So this comes this light emulating from the top of the eye, indicating the illumination of an idea. And I think that might be a little bit easier to work with than that the light bulb. I think the light bulb, the light bulb is a little cumbersome. Now, if you reduce the size of the light bulb to think to the point where it can fit in this, oh, it's not gonna, it might not be recognizable at small sizes. So that could be an issue. So I'm not trying to direct you in any specific direction, but I am trying to give you some ideas and some caveats, as it were, moving forward into uh, problematic areas that, that could raise their head a little bit later in the project. And, and, and it's you know better to recognize those now than to be confronted with them later. So uh, those are the reasonings, but that's the reasoning behind my comments. So think about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Keep working hard and um, 
And like I said, let me know if you have any questions at all. I'd be glad to clarify. All right, good job. Thank you.